A government commissioned review into tackling political violence will recommend police should be able to shut down protests outside MPs' offices, council buildings, and parliament. The issue of MPs' safety was used by the Commons Speaker, Sir Lindsay Hoyle, to justify his controversial handling of a debate on the Israel Hamas war. His comments have led to discussions on how to protect elected representatives. Protesters gathered outside Parliament on Wednesday during the debate. A vote on a Gaza ceasefire descended into a shouting match about Holland Ritchie procedure. More than one in ten MPs have since declared they have no confidence in the Speaker. He apologised but stressed he had been motivated by concern for the security of MPs who faced threats over their stance on the Gaza conflict. Three years ago, the government asked the crossbench peer Lord Walney to look into how to tackle violence against politicians. His review is now almost complete and will recommend that existing police powers to break up voices should be extended public demonstrations outside of democratic vote news. These would include council and MPs offices and the House of Parliament. Lord Walney said it was time to reset our view of what politicians should be prepared to tolerate. MPs are scared it's having a really corrosive effect. Even if there is no direct violence, it's having an effect and that's unacceptable. The Speaker's decision to allow a vote on the Labour amendment, thereby foregoing a vote on the original SNP motion, calling for a ceasefire in Gaza, created chaos in the House of Commons on Wednesday. Apologising for the handling of Wednesday's debate, so Lindsay said he had acted because he was very, very concerned about the security of MPs who have received personal threats. In recent weeks, the Conservative MP Finchley and Golders Green, like Freer, has announced he would be standing down from Parliament after receiving death threats. Two MPs were murdered in recent years. In 2021, a 69-year-old Conservative MP for South End West, Sir David Amos, was stabbed in constituency surgery in Essex. In 2016, Labour MP for Batley and Spen, Joe Cox, was shot and stabbed in her constituency at the age of 41.